Greetings, my dear friends. Today we're delving into the sacred verses of Psalm 14, a powerful reflection on the human condition and the timeless pursuit of divine wisdom. Are you ready to explore the folly of denying God's truth in a world desperately seeking it? Imagine this, a wise person and a fool walk side by side. The difference, the wise one acknowledges God's guidance, while the fool declares, there is no God. It's not about intellect, it's about a moral choice. Now, let's relate this to our lives. Have you ever faced a situation where society urged you to compromise your values? Maybe at work, in friendships, or even in your family. The world may say, it's okay, everyone does it. But Psalm 14 whispers a different truth, a call to walk in the wisdom that acknowledges God. Psalm 14 paints a picture of a God who looks down, searching for hearts that seek him. In a world swayed by corruption and folly, God is seeking those who choose righteousness. Let's be honest, our choices matter. They matter to God, and they shape the legacy we leave. Consider this. The fool denies God and lives in a way that rejects divine wisdom. This denial, this morale folly has consequences. It impacts relationships, it distorts values, and it blinds us to the profound beauty of a life anchored in God's truths. So, friends, as we navigate this complex world, let's be seekers of divine wisdom. Let's acknowledge God in our decisions, our relationships and our pursuits. Wisdom isn't about being the smartest in the room, it's about recognising the source of all wisdom. In closing, let Psalm 14 be a guide. Let's not be fooled by the allure of a wisdom that denies God. Instead, let's be known for our pursuit of divine wisdom, the kind that shapes our character influences our choices and ultimately transforms the world around us. As you go about your week, consider this. In a world declaring, there is no God, be the one who declares, I seek his wisdom. May your choices reflect the wisdom that comes from acknowledging God's timeless truths. Blessings to each one of you. Now let us sit back and enjoy Psalm 14. The fool says in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. All have turned away. All have become corrupt. There is no one who does good. Not even one. Do all these evildoers know nothing? They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on the Lord. But there they are, overwhelmed with dread. For God is present in the company of the righteous. You evildoers frustrate the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Amen. Amen.